Hey everybody, um, in this video, this video will be my first video that I will upload in 2020, that's awesome, but, um, this video will be really serious. Excuse me, really serious and and strong subject, but um, I'm doing this for other people that could be in the same situation as me. So, um, anyway, it was, okay, the story was the dumb I basically hung out with in Better File, and I know this is a strong subject to speak about, so if y'all don't want to watch this video. I'm really happy for y'all to click off this video because I know this is a strong subject to speak about and I know calling someone in better file is serious. It's serious and everything like that. So if y'all get triggered and y'all don't want to watch this video, it's fine. Just click out of this video. But, um, anyway, the time I hung out with Impact Files. So, in this video, I'm not going to say no names for my protection and their protection. I'm not going to say no names, <coughs> but, um, anyway, it was, six, seven years ago, I mean, no, it was, it was really, um, Backward. So it was like 2009, 2009, 2008. Um, I was over my friend's house. Now, most of, now y'all know I have special needs, meaning that I have other, I have friends that have special needs. My friends have like cerebrosity, autism. Um, Down syndrome, so it makes it hard for them to communicate, to speak up, to advocate. Yeah, so anyway, I was over my friend's house, and it was me, and so we was in this group called oh, I can't say the group <laughs> yet yeah, since I'm making this video I can't say the group because they'll st even though I'm not in the group no more they still have the group so, I can't say the group name, but we had a social skills group to help us to be social and everything like that. So, anyway, we had it every weekend, one day a week for every weekend, 
And um, so my friend told her mom that she wanted to have a play date with me and my sister. Now, my sister went to, my sister went to the group sessions with me and my mom. My mom hung out with the other parents, like, in a room together while all of the course that mostly had autism hung out in another room playing games, just trying to be social because most of the time with someone that either has autism or someone with special needs. We don't like to be social. We don't like to like hang out with other people. Not to be rude, but it's just hard for us. So anyway, um, my sister wasn't a part of the group, but she helped out. She was a good person and she helped out. So, um, anyway, my friend said that she, one, one day she came to her mother, went to her mother, said that she wanted, um, to have a play date with me and no, it wasn't me and my sister, it was just me, but my sister knows how I don't, how I don't open up when I don't, when I'm not familiar in places and everything like that. So, she always, my sister always went with me places and she, but since she moved out the house, she don't go with me places no more like that. Excuse me, but she went with me for me to be relaxed. Basically, support, basically. So anyway, me, my mom, me, my sister, and our mom arrived at our, my friend's house. And even though we're not friends no more, I'm not going to say her name because... Yeah, I'm not going to say her name because I really don't know if she wants her name out there. So, anyway, um, we arrived at my friend's house and we, my, our mom stayed up like in the kitchen living room area talking and everything like that while me and my sister went downstairs. Now, I thought it's just going to be me, my sister, and my friend interacting, playing, slash little bit talking in her um, basement. See? She had a fun looking basement. So it was an 
um, normal basement, whatever. But, um, really, instead of just having a couch and TV, it had a couch and TV and shrink sets. I mean, she had autism. So, anyway, I thought it was just going to be three of us, me, my sister, and my friend. But, um, when we went downstairs, we was greeted by this other person. Now, I'm not. Now, this other person, the one I'm talking about, who was an um, pedophile, so... Obviously, I'm not going to say that person's name. So, I'm, j I'm just going to say that person's name was Timothy. Remember, that's not that person's name, but to protect that person's identity and name, I'm just going to say him. Name, his name is Timothy. So, anyway, Timothy greeted us. Weirdly, but he greeted us. Now, I already knew him because I saw him around. I'm just going to say I saw him around different places, whatever. So, I knew who he was. I, my sister didn't know who he was, but I told her who he was. <coughs> so, um, anyway, right off the bat, okay, right, okay, right off the bat, it was weird. It was weird how he was staring at me and my sister. How he was, how he said hi to us. It was just weird. Strange. I was nervous. I was nervous, but I didn't want to show it because, like, I, I obviously thought, okay, he won't do nothing because he got hired by them. And when I say by them, I mean, um, my friend's family. So, obviously, and he, um, works with, um, people with special needs. So, he won't do nothing. I just kept saying that in my head. He won't do nothing, whatever. So... Then, um, Timothy said, okay, come sit down on the floor. We will warm up. Can I get to know each other, warm up? Whatever, so I say in my head, 
this is all weird because where's the supposed to have a play date? Play in like um swing shrinking with each other or playing with each other whatever while we have to warm up. So anyway, um we me and my sister sat down on the floor. We sat like on an colorful um mat. So anyway we sat down and Timothy sat down with us like in front of it not really in front of us like he gave us our personal space obviously but um yeah sat down so anyway excuse me by when he sat down he continues to look at us real like it wasn't like he was looking at us like we was real like real looking no he looked at us like he wanted some he wanted some yeah he it, the way he looked at it, it was like that so um anyway my sister savvy got some look no savvy looked at me weird i looked at her weird like <laughs> like it was like she looked at me weird i looked at her weird because Timothy looked was looking at like all both of us and he wasn't looking at our faces no he was looking downhill downhill and like I knew that he wasn't looking at my face I knew he was looking at both of us down here area, but what to do? When you caught, get caught up in that situation, you force mindset is to be quiet, act like you don't see what you just seen. So anyway, I was creeped out. I was creeped out. And my sister, I saw, I looked, I glanced over to my sister. I glanced over because he, Timothy was still like, looking at uh, both of us and it was it wasn't like he was looking at our faces no he was looking at our down area right here so it was strange it was weird and it was creepy but what made me at ease was I had, <clears throat> what made me at ease is I had my sister with me and I heard my mom and my friend's mom talking upstairs. So I'm like, I, like, you get that moment that any situation that
that it's creepy or you get creeped out by someone, you basically look for like either an exit or you heal, try to heal other people and you try to heal other people so you know that okay if I scream if this person will try something I will scream and my mom and my friend's mom will go check it out so anyway that those do if y'all heal so in this video if y'all heal what done twenty minutes if y'all heal concerts or fireworks it's normal. They always do this when New Year's yeah. So anyway I will feel a lot comfortable because my sister was standing there with me and I heard my mom and my friend's mom speaking, talking, whatever. So I say basically if I say in my head, basically if he tries to do something I will only have to scream and my mom and my friend's mom will run down there to see what's happening. So anyway, um, anyway, <clears throat> after looking after Timothy, like, remember that's not his real name. I'm just saying that for the, um, sake of this video. But, um, after Timothy looked at me and my sister down area. I think it got satisfied. I, excuse me, I really don't know. But anyway, he realized that my friend was nowhere to be found. So, he automatically knew where she was. So anyway, he went through the laundry room in the bathroom because um, it was like in at their house they had a bathroom in the basement. I have a ba um I have a bathroom in our in the basement too, but. Anyway, he went in there, and we didn't, me and my sister didn't see what was happening, but he had, like, jewelry. He had jewelry around his neck, and my friend was speaking speaking about the Jewy and she was speaking about the Jewy he had like a um necklace and anyway my friend was speaking about the necklace like she was up close seeing the necklace and I'm like saying if she is in the bathroom you is in the bathroom he just walks in there basically saying 
probably seen her naked from the waist down. Obviously, probably seen her private parts. And then when my sister her we well we both heard my friend talking about his necklace and um we both looked at each other with like a worried look on our face. I looked at my sister with a worried look on my face and my sister looked at me with a worried look on my face. And then when Timothy and my friend came out of um, the bathroom, Timothy sat down, my friend sat down, and he, Timothy wanted us to do this. Yeah, Timothy wanted us to do this. Now, we obviously when cause do this. Y'all can't see it, but when cause do this, the chest area pop out. And yeah, so anyway, um, excuse me, anyway, we kept doing this. My sister caught on to what he was staring at. Yeah, my sister caught on what he was staring at. Oh my gosh. So sorry. But I don't know if that a moth. But anyway, my um sister Omakri knew what he was staring at. He was staring at all of our like chest area and everything like that. He was looking like this because we was sitting in a semi circle and he was looking at all our chest area and I was uncomfortable and my sister was uncomfortable. My friend was in her head, so I don't know if she was uncomfortable or not, but she was in her head. But me and my sister was really uncomfortable, and I say in my head, many times I say in my head, if we was invited to be here for a play date while we are doing exercise. Why we're doing this instead of doing instead of playing. So anyway, um after we did this now my sister realized that my that Timothy wasn't looking like at our face that he was looking downhill. So my sister kept doing this, but how she was doing it, it was like she wasn't doing it, but she was doing it still do not make it obvious like she caught on, so I was still doing it. I was still doing it because I was facing towards him. And I didn't want him to 
automatically realize that I got onto him too. So anyway, um, after we did this, we did this for like 30 seconds. Count, we counted to 30 and after that we did straight legs. Number four, we did basically all, I, well, I did all the exercise that we always do at the beginning of BE at school. Yeah, we did that exercise and then, um, my friend and then after we did the exercise my friend it was like all freedom after that so my friend ran over to go on the swings and me and my sister just Colored. Excuse me, me and... No. I went over to the table to color, draw, whatever. And then my sister went to, like, kind of help my friend to... Push her on the string, whatever. And, um, Timothy went over after he was finished picking up whatever, picking up what we were sitting on, on the floor. He came over real, to real hours and basically asked me, what I was coloring, what I was drawing, automatically I felt nervous. And when you feel nervous, your voice will show that you're nervous. And anyway, um, I didn't want him to um, expect that. I was nervous and everything like that, so thank goodness my sister saw it and came over to where I was and basically by that point my mom, our mom and my friend's mom called us from downstairs to come upstairs we came upstairs and we was about to leave me and my mom and my sister was about to leave I couldn't wait until I couldn't wait to leave because I wanted to tell mom to tell my mom what happened and my sister the same way. And before, right before we left, we was getting out the door whatever until my friend's mom asked us to come back the next week, the next weekend for like another play day. And I was hesitant to say yes because I was scared that Timothy was going to be there because I really was scared when I say I was scared he was you know when a person that you meet give you 
we be better for that. So I was nervous to say 100% yes. So I say depends on how I feel. I just said that. I didn't say no and I didn't say yes. I just literally say depending on how I feel. So um, me, my sister, and my mom left. And the next weekend, we came over there. I really forgot all about that weekend. Yeah, I forgot. And then we came over there. And um, we played whatever. And she wanted us. Her, my friend, mother wanted us to stay over for dinner. I thought that was weird, but hey. Hey, so anyway, we stayed for dinner, and over dinner, she, my friend, mom, say, Timothy is not working for us no more. So, I literally, when I heard that, I didn't say nothing. I didn't say, yes, yes, I won't see him no more. And I, yeah, I didn't say nothing. But I wanted to know why he wasn't working with them no more. But, you know, you can't get in nobody's business. So, anyway, um, um, I said in my head, I hope my mom asked him why. And my mom, the la, la one second after I say that to myself, my mom asked why. And then... Um, my friend's mom say that they found out that he was Dutson other students that he was working with inappropriately. And then my mom say she obviously she played it off like she didn't know what was happening like me or my sister didn't talk to her about how we felt uncomfortable and i'm happy she played it off because i didn't want my friend's parents to realize me and my sister was uncomfortable around Timothy. So I'm happy my mom played it off like she didn't know and everything like that. But anyway, um, he wasn't just fired from working with my friend's family. He was fired from his job. I for, I really forgot what his job was. I want to say ABA therapist. I don't know. I don't want to say a ABA therapist and I get it wrong. I don't know but Anyway, yeah, that was the time I hung out with a pedophile. Excuse me. I say hung out because that wasn't the only time that I saw him. I saw him in public and even school. So, yeah, that's why I say hung out. So, anyway, I hope y'all... 
like the video, like, comment, subscribe.